critical drilling, which of course began here in New York State in the 19th century, we were the first state to do, you know, drill for natural gas, that relied on natural gas that was generated um, uh, and moved through geological strata and got trapped in big bubbles. So we could kind of put a straw straight down and up came the gas. So that was the, sort of our grandparents' gas drills. Now we've run through most of that gas. So to get gas out of shale where it's dispersed as a kind of petrified fizz of champagne bubbles, if you will, um, the horizontal drilling proposes to go down and then turn the drill sideways and go about a mile or so and then detonate uh, but with explosives that shale and then force under very high pressure uh, chemicalized water to release the, the bubbles. And so uh, the chemicals that are used in horizontal hydrofracking are different from what was used in uh, previous kinds of drilling, even drills that relied on fracturing. Um, so we are introducing new chemicals to New York that haven't been used before in drilling, so that is a novel thing. Um, but the cumulative impacts part of my message is that um, because each one of these wells um, isn't going to hit this kind of gold mine of gas, it relies on little bubbles coming out here and there, it's the, the density of wells that's going to be uh, very different. We will industrialize the entire landscape. In 77,000 wells, each well pad several acres big, we're fragmenting habitat, we're compressing soil, we raise the risk for flood control problems. So there are many public health problems that come with a horizontal hydrofracking that we have not seen so far um, with vertical drilling. That being said, I am alarmed at the amount of vertical drilling that's going on in the southern tier uh, even now, um, and I'm hearing anecdotes from uh, people who live there uh, that their well water is being affected uh, by vertical drilling. Now, what I learned in graduate school is that uh, the plural of anecdote is not data, right? So we don't, uh, I don't know as a biologist whether or not vertical drilling is posing serious risks to our water, um, but I don't think anyone knows. I don't think anyone's looking at this, and, and again, that needs to be looked at very closely.